Hi, I'm Ben, a solutions engineer here at Retool. Retool is a development platform that enables developers to combine the benefits of traditional software development with a drag and drop UI editor to build enterprise grade internal tools radically faster. For this demo, let's imagine we're an engineering team within the retail banking arm of a large diversified financial services institution called Horizon. In this example, Horizon is launching a new product that enables low cost international transfers for its banking customers to help retention given competitive pressure from fintech companies. The team needs to launch this product quickly to meet strategy objectives without compromising on mandatory compliance and security standards. The data science team has already built a workflow to automatically approve or reject applications for this new product, but some people are still subject to manual review. When this happens, the customer status gets updated in the database, as you can see here, and then a Microsoft Teams message gets sent to them. Let's imagine we're a service agent and that someone has just applied for an account that is flagged for manual review. If we go to Microsoft Teams, we can see the notification here, which leads us directly to where the agent can take action. We're now in the Customer 360 view, where the agent can see more relevant information about the customer under review. We can perform a number of different actions here. For example, if we wanted to replace a card, we could click here to do this. Other actions, for example, terminating account are locked down. Since Retool is deployed inside Horizon's VPC, all data remains secure inside their infrastructure. Being able to use these security features so quickly has enabled Horizon to move a lot of manual operational tasks and spreadsheets, which are prone to human error, to more secure apps that prevent risks of human error from the start. The service agent needs the ability to approve or reject the customer's request for an international transfer account. Let's switch to the engineer's view to help build this feature out in the development environment and see how we can add stability to approve or reject a customer in just a few minutes. As you can see, we'll need to create a branch to make this change. When someone clicks update now, we'll want to open a modal to give the customer service rep the option to change the status and then write a query to update this information in the database. Retool is data agnostic, meaning you can connect to any internal or external database or API. Now we're in the editor mode, we'll just need to create a modal quickly, like this. Once we've done it, this, we'll need to drag and drop in the relevant UI components. So in this instance, we simply need a select so that we can choose the statuses and then a button so that we can actually trigger the update. So let's simply, up, let's make this title a bit more descriptive, the status. Let's call this status. And let's pull in the different statuses from a query that we've already written. So you can see the different statuses, rejected, accepted, and pending. Let's rename this button update status. And then the final thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to link this button to a query using an event handler. So fortunately, we've already written out this query, mark eligible, and you can see that we're passing in the ID from of this particular user to this GraphQL mutation. And you can see under the advanced section that we actually only enable certain user group to actually run this query. So people in support level two. Horizon has ported across their user groups from their SSO provider to help manage permissions. The final thing that we need to do here is to open the modal when someone actually clicks update now. So to do that, again, it's pretty straightforward. All we'll need to do is add an event handler to um, this modal. So, and instead of in this instance running a query, what we'll actually want to do is we'll want to actually open a modal. So in this instance, modal frame four. And again, we'll only want to do this for a particular set of people. So only when the current user is support level two. You'll see here that I'm writing JavaScript to control who's allowed to click this. And this gets to a wider point. Retool aims to be as flexible as writing software from scratch. You can write JavaScript virtually anywhere inside of Retool, but simply abstracts away the more tedious and low leverage things like setting up SSO, building out components, setting up role-based access controls, and managing audit logs. Before pushing our changes for review to GitHub, let's review how this would look for our arrangement. We can see now, if we click on update now, this modal runs, we can choose the option that we want, and then we can click update status and confirm. This triggers a separate workflow, letting the customers know that they're now an approved customer by sending them an SMS. That's it. Retool enables Horizon to launch their international transfers product faster by speeding up the development of the internal tooling to support it. Having all the information in one place allows the service agents to get things done much more quickly. And it's not only support agents that use Retool. Teams across the bank, from finance to data to engineering and marketing, use Retool apps to work more efficiently. If you'd like to learn more about how Retool can help you build tools that improve client experiences and deliver digital transformation projects this month, not next quarter, please get in touch with us at retool.com slash demo. More than 13,000 companies, as well as leading Fortune 500 financial services firms, use Retool to save engineering time and help teams operate more efficiently.